Child, Robert Franks of San Marcos, was convicted of continuous sexual abuse, aggravated sexual assault of a child, and indecency with a child. After adding up all the counts, the jury sentenced him to two life sentences, plus more than 1,000 years in prison, all consecutive. That's the total of all the 99 year sentences, plus all the 20 year sentences added up. Prosecutors say for years, Frank sexually abused two girls, one nine and one ten, who were related to him and in his care. They say had one of the girls not come forward, the abuse could have continued. In June of 2016, the initial outcry was made by one of our child victims. Both children testified in court, and that's what Mao says influenced the jury's decision on the verdict as well as the sentencing. It really just, I think, sends more of a message than it has any practical effect in this case, but it does send the message that don't expect any leniency if you commit these kind of crimes. Mao says oftentimes offenders may get a slap on the wrist in child abuse cases. However, he hopes this jury's message resonates in Hayes County and beyond. I hope it tells the offenders that this is not a risk you want to take. A child should be able to rely on that person to protect them, to preserve their innocence, not to take it away. YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. This video come out of my home state. Big shout out to Texas, but we're in the news for all the wrong damn reasons. Well, it happened in central Texas. Well, we have an old nasty, big nasty funky pervert who basically was molesting these nine and 10 year old girls and probably been doing it for years. And he allegedly got caught up because one of the girls went and told on him and like, right, she should have been told on him. But you know, whether she waited that longer time or whether she would have waited a little longer, it's good that she did expose this beast for who he is. So I'm going to read a snippet from the story and I will give my opinion as we go. Texas, Texas man gets over 1,000 years in prison, 1,000, a K, 1K, for repeatedly sexually abusing two young girls, which his butt should get. In June of 2016, Rob, Robert Benjamin Franks, who is now 39, was arrested after a nine-year-old girl told her father that Franks was doing disgusting things to her and another 10-year-old girl. Now, this guy right here, Robert Benjamin Franks, 39 years old, and I thought the guy was a bit of 59, 69 years old, at least, at least 59. I mean, he looked old as hell for his age. Now, News 4 San Antonio reported that the nine-year-old claimed Franks would dole out punishments that consisted of spankings and forced her to perform oral sex. He nasty as hell, making them little girls suck on your wee-wee. Now, according to my San Antonio, the 10-year-old originally denied the claim, but during a checkup with the sexual assault nursing examiner said Frank sexually abused her for years. So he's been doing this to these children. Both of the girls were repeatedly Frank's family member, his own family member. I guess it's true what they do say, huh? Now, to all, I mean, excuse me, to have all of that innocence and protection taken away by the very person who is supposed to be preserving that for children is what I think makes this so much worse than some of those other cases that may be more violent, says Hayes County District Attorney Wes Mile told NBC News affiliate KXAN. It was betrayal of somebody who should be looking out for these children. Just like, just like a family member, if you drop your child off over there, if they got children and they playing, and your child go over there and play with that child, but while in the process of your child at your family member house, these nasty old demon perverted ass men sit up on here and take out time to exploit these children and, and sexually abuse these children. And that's very sad because you would never think your own family member would do that. But, it, but <laughs> yeah, sometimes it'll be the main one, you know. It's sad like that. Now, Franks was initially charged with two counts of continuing with sexual abuse. In a further investigation yielded additional charges that included nine counts of aggravated sexual assault and six counts of indecency with a child. News 4 San Antonio reported that during the trial, a third victim, who is now an adult, testified that she was also abused when she was 10 years old. So he got a long history, a long rap sheet of basically uh, doing nasty things to children. On Monday, after an hour-long deliberation, Franks was convicted and sentenced to a total of 1,000 in 11 years in prison. Won't even be no prisons around by the time he get through serving that sentence. They're going to have that fool somewhere by Jupiter somewhere, like in, uh, what, what, was, what was the movie, uh, Vin Diesel played in Riddick, how they had a prison in outer space. He'd be in one of them by then. They'll ship him out there by another 100 years. Now, according to my in San Antonio, he was given two life sentences for continual sexual abuse, 99 years for each count of aggravated sexual assault, and 20 years for each count of indecency with a child. That's a lot of damn years. They making sure he never see the light of day. He could die and come back 10 times. He'd still be a caged animal. Wow. 
Now, CBS News Austin reported that Judge Jack Robinson, sound like a tough ass judge, ordered that the sentences be served consecutively and the jury in the jury, excuse me, also ordered Franks to pay 120,000 in fines. Now, how in the hell are he gonna pay 120,000 fines when you gave him down there a hundred some thousand years to do? He got 1,011 years to do. How in the hell are he gonna pay 120,000 dollars in fines? That's what the hell I want to say. And if I was the victim in there, I'd be like, hold on, I'm cool with the years, but how in the hell he, I'm gonna get my money if he locked up? That's all I want to know. Now, when these kinds of cases occur, there is no room for leniency. These kind of predators have to be treated with the harshest of consequences, Mild told KXAN. I think it sends a message to anyone else out in the community who might be thinking about doing a crime like this that jurors, at least in the Hayes County, have no tolerance for this kind of behavior. So if you in Hayes County and you're doing something strange for a little piece of change with these children, or tricking off on these all these little girls and stuff. You need to stop. Because they're going to bust your ass wide open, boy. Just, just like you done hit death row. And you walking around with a tutu on. When they catch you, hoo hoo. They going to deal with you. They going to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't playing no more. They ain't giving out years no more. They giving out alphabets. You going to have to do a B and a C plus a Z. You're like, what the hell is that? That's, that means a thousand years. Get out of my face. Now, anyway. He added that. The case should send a message to victims as well because without physical evidence, the case came down to whether or not the jurors believe these two young girls without any physical proof of them being actually raped. Now, Mao explained that the verdict is proof jurors will believe victims and they shouldn't be afraid to go up against adults on the belief that adults will believe the grown-ups and they won't really believe the children. So tell me what you all think about this situation right here because it's sad that this guy who's supposed to be a family member decided to mess with his own little cousins or I don't know if there was his cousins or nieces. They really didn't describe the, you know, the kind of relationship they had for his like family member. But I'm thinking it's probably one of his little cousins. But what can make a guy, you know, just do that to children, man? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, like all these women around here you got them you got them basically just begging men to come over and be with them white black purple chinese everybody looking for a damn wife you got russian brides that you can go get off the internet you got chinese filipinos website where they begging to come over here you know they might won't stay married to you no more than about five years till they get on their feet but at least you have somebody that be better than you messing with a damn child i don't understand what the hell is going on in this world today you have all this free nookie all this free cookie like steve harvey be saying and you still have men with this sexual perversion where they're like children. I don't understand that. They must don't know these little kids is still learning to clean themselves right. They must don't know these little girls still learning proper hygiene. And what the hell do you get out of that thrill right there, man? What the hell do you get out of that? I don't understand. You know, it has to be a sick way of these people thinking their psyche to make them look at these children and i don't want to hear this shit talking about they don't uh they they fattened up all the uh meat produce you know these chickens making these girls develop true yes they are but guess what they develop in the body but they're not developing the mind the mind is where it counts at you know it, it's no different than a person basically messing with a mentally retarded person a woman i'm, I'm talking about you know because the men doing it it's no different than a man messing with a mentally retarded woman who has big breasts a big butt big hips and all that everything that that men admire and like but at the same time she's not stable in the head it's no different with the children though i'm not calling the children retarded but the state of mind the naiveness you know where they're, they're not able to really correlate and figure everything out what's really going on with them so how can you do that you know i don't understand that right there and and, and i mean they giving out years like they giving out uh, damn sandwiches, you know, I don't understand that and 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 how do you sit there and take a thousand years true? He deserve it. He done it. He done the crime. He got to do the time But damn, how do you do a thousand years? How do you even put your mind to that? You know, I would have just raised my hand You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't done no shit like that anyway But if I was in a courtroom just say for something else, I'm not even gonna say for that shit I can't put myself like that But if I was there and I was you know facing all these all these years for some other shit I just say man look man just 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 go pick a tree pick a tree pick a tree You know cuz ain't no way in hell I could do a thousand years. you might well just go and hang me You know just go on, that matter of fact that tree out there in the back of the courthouse would be fine right now I even bring the rope you know because ain't no way in hell y'all finna make me do this thousand years right here So you can go and go pick that tree pick a tree anyway Let me know what you all think about this uh sad situation right here, but we have these nasty ass demonic people 
men and women doing perverted things with children, you know, with dogs, with all kinds of uh, just things, you know. Let me know what you all think, man, because the more I think about this, you know, and it's sad that these girls is going to be scarred for life. This going to be on their mind for life. You know, they'll have their innocence taken from this beast of a man who's supposed to be a family member and a, and a protector. You know, not a provider, but just a protector. And it's sad that the main people who you think are protecting you are the main ones <laughs> using you on on the slick. You know, like that's how we say it on the slick. I don't know how y'all say it, but that's how we say it. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this sad situation right here. And uh, it just it just goes to show you that you cannot really trust no one. You have parents killing the children. You have grandparents killing the children you have cousins nieces you have big fat ass women sitting on top of the children smothering the children own family members so who can you trust these days i mean like escape said who can you run to that's all i want to know but anyway if you like the video push that like button if you like subscribe to next time watch who you send your kids watch watch who house your kids going over i'm telling you and uh talk to your children see see what's going on with them just talk to them you'll be amazed what they'll share with you Till next time, y'all stay blessed. Be safe. I'm out.